Hallelujah. You are the Jesus, you are the Lord. I bekele proze kale prazata pazata pozeka. Riprozela handa baba babo ze kare proze katayala pazala proze kayanda. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we worship you, God. We give you glory, we give you honor. We give you adoration for your good and for your great and for your mighty. Thank you, Fathers. We are winding up 2023 and ushering in the year 2024. Your year, God, I pray the Lord. Your spirit will move in our midst. Your power will move in our midst. You will speak to our lives in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We welcome you to this service, my Father. Receive praise, receive glory and honor and adoration for your good and for your great. In Jesus' mighty name hallelujah so tonight i want to sh this is what i have about 2024 20, and this is from the almighty god this is the word the lord gave me about the year 2024 so whatever you are watching me from lying now whatever you're doing just pause for a minute give me a minute because i want to tell you what god i tell me about the year 2024 hallelujah you know i hear from god and i tell you what i hear from the lord so when god speaks he speaks for a purpose he speaks so that he can redeem he will feel something so that he can redeem his own chosen generation hallelujah so tonight i want to tell you exactly what i heard about the year 2024 hallelujah let us go to the book of revelation chapter number one Verse number 8, the book of Revelation, chapter number 1, verse number 8, the Bible says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, serve the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Hallelujah. This is the word that I heard from the Lord, that 2024 is my year. Hallelujah. So 2024 is God's year. Mungu amesema 2024 ni mwaka wake. So whatever you are watching me from, know that 2024 is the year of God. Hallelujah. But these are the things that will happen in the year 2024. So the Lord took me in a vision and the Lord told me that the year 2024, it shall not be an year that you, as you think. It shall not be an year as you have been experiencing other years. Because this is the year when you will see the prophecy that has written in the book of Matthew chapter number 24 happening in the world you will hear this happening in every world around the world and i was asking god why are you showing me this and the lord told me i'm showing you this because i love my church i love my chosen generation i love the lemonata because as these things are going to happen in the entire world my church it shall grow stronger 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 day by day so as i was listening saying to the Lord that the Lord told me that the year 2020 the year 2024 the spirit of deception God took me to the Matthew the book of Matthew chapter number 24 if you are there turn with me to the book of Matthew chapter number 24 I'm not wasting your time I want to tell you what I had exactly from the Lord and I want you to prepare to know that the year 2024 the Lord has something hallelujah the lord has something for you the lord has something for the church so the lord has something for the church and this something the lord has for the church so the lord was speaking to me about the year 2024 so the lord took me to the book of matthew the matthew the book of matthew chapter number 24 Verse number three, look here, the Bible says, And as I sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, what shall these things be, and what shall be the sign for thy coming? and of the end of the world the bible is very clear the disciple came to the lord and so told the lord tell us exactly what will be the sign look here no signs what will be the sign and number four and jesus answered and said unto them take it that no man deceive you hallelujah Take in that no man will deceive you. So the Lord told me that the year 2024, the spirit of deception will reach. And when the spirit of deception will reach, 
it will at the spirit of deception will come from our altars. And the, he was specifically telling us that the source bishop that tell, they say they are called by my name. They shall deceive many by using my name. The men of God will deceive many using my name. Women of God will deceive many using my name. And I asked God why? The Lord told me this is what is written in the Bible. And this year 2024 you are going to see them. Bishops are going to, the deception is going to rise in altars. Deception is going to rise. People, men of God will deceive many. You know, remember this. The end, the end times is here. And remember this. When the Son of God will come, men will go and tell God we cast out demons by your name. And the Lord say, no, go away. I don't know you. Why? Because many will use the name of the Lord for a long motive by deceiving many. Many are lying on altars. And the Lord told me, 2024, you are going to see the spirit of deception. Many will lie openly. Will talk uh, forest things openly. You will see it. This is not about forest prophets. No, this is not about forest teachers. But it is about deception. And they told me, tell my bishops. Tell my apostles. Tell my pastors. Tell my evangelists. That let Take it the word of the Lord so that you cannot be get gotten up with this spirit of deception. Okay, the Lord took me again and showed me a series that many governments will demolish this thing we do, we call the passport. You will see the year 2024, you will see governments demolishing, doing away with the, 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 the passport thing. And I was asking God, how? Oh. The Lord told me this. You will see they will announce public. You will read in the newspaper. You will see it in the news that certain governments have demolished the passport and now they're going to use the microchip that will be inserted in human bodies. And the Lord took me and told me that some banks, you will see banks demolishing this thing we call bank cards. And they will use the, the, the they will use the, 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 the chips, the microchips that will be inserted in human bodies. And I asked God, how will this happen? And the Lord told me this year 2024, it is my year. But you will see this happening. You will see many prophets coming to be fulfilled. Because the devil has been now making a structure since, the, uh, since 2020, 2010 up to now. And when this time comes, you will see many they are demolishing the passport. Uh, banks will demolish the bank, account, the bank cards and they are going to start using the microchips. And you, these are things that you will see in the news. These things that you will hear and read in the newspaper. And ask God. Why this all will happen? The Lord told me even the medical insurance that we are using, it is going, you will see certain government, it will start and it will go rumbar. And I told God, up our people, and the Lord told me, I want to tell you, many government will go and borrow from the, this thing you call LGBTQ. That's why you see many government are silent about the LGBTQ. That's why you see many governments are, are quiet about the drug addicts. The people are now coming publicly and declaring that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sexuality, I'm a sodomy. Uh, they are coming out uh, and the government is silent because the Lord told me that you will see government uh, the lapa stamping this thing about LGBTQ. And those governments will even go to borrow from this organization to come and fund their learning and their development. And I tell God and our people, the Lord told me when you see this, there shall be many cry, many billions of people will not reach 20, 24 December. They will die. It was like, okay, God, what will happen? The Lord told me that I see another thing, that another disease that will come from Asian country. They will kill many people, will kill billions of people. And I was praying and I told God, no, don't allow this again to come to the, the nation. The Lord said, no, it will come so that uh, my purpose will come to be fulfilling this art. I took a push and the Lord told me, Tell my people, 
that those who are called by my name, let them take heed to my word. Let them follow me faithfully. Let them serve me faithfully. Because I am the Lord thy God. I will protect them. I will provide for them. I will never leave them. I will never let them go down because I am the Lord. And I was like, God, what will happen? And the Lord took me and showed me that 2024, there shall be a split of the church. The church will split. Many Christian gospel artists will announce publicly that they don't know Christ. They will start singing secular songs. You have seen it, but you will see it more coming out in the year 2024. You will see many churches, readers, Distinguished leaders coming out and be announcing and saying publicly that oh we and we don't know this thing called Jesus Christ, and they will make many people go astray spiritually. Many people who start this night world, who will start this night with Jesus Christ, will not reach 2024 December with Christ because. Popular readers, you will see them spiritual readers coming out and publicly and declaring that uh, we don't know about Jesus Christ. We are here and telling the world that Jesus does not exist. You will see that uh, and it shall bring the spirit of the church. You have seen this. Yeah, many will come out and will fight the true men of God. The prophets will be fought, the apostles will be fought, the preachers will be fought, will be brought down. And ask God, God lead me this year, 2024. What should I uh, tell your people? The Lord said, the Lord took me to Matthew chapter number 16. Let us everybody go there. The Lord took me to that. And he took me to the book of Matthew chapter number 16, verse 18. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this lock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prefer against it. So the Lord told me that my church shall be grow stronger and stronger day by day. The gates of hell shall never prevail. The devil shall not prevail over the church. So the church of God will grow stronger, stronger, stronger. And the power of the Lord shall come upon the church. And the latter glory of the church shall be greater than the, the former. Why? Because the Lord is going to do it this year, 2024. So the Lord told me that as you see me, spiritual readers de de announcing me, my church shall grow stronger, stronger. So the gates of hell shall not prevail on us. This year, 2024, the gates of hell will be open. Hear me well. The year 2024, the gates of hell will be open. And the Lord told me that he, start, he will amend the economy of the church. I will make the economy of the church be better, better, better after better. But you see, even he was reminding me that you see the economy of the world, how it is at now. It is because many of these people are running away from serving me. They are running away from doing the right thing as I had ordained them and as I ordained them. The Lord I asked God, tell me what I will tell my people now. The Lord said, tell my people, 2024 is my year, but the gates of hell shall be opened. So let the church be awake. Hallelujah. So the church, we need to be awake in the year 2024. We need to wake up in the year 2024 because the gates of hell shall be opened. But the good news, that upon the revelation that we have received from Christ, 
upon the teaching that we have received from Christ, upon the understanding of the spiritual matters, upon the power of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. The year 2024, we are going to understand more the mystery of the Word of God. We are going to see more of the power of God moving in our ministry. The year 2024, we will not cry anymore. The revelation the Lord has given unto us that this is my ear and I shall establish you. I shall make you stronger when the gates of hell shall be open. You, it shall never prevail against you because you have the Spirit of God, because you have the revelation who I am, because you know who I am and the power that I carry. So the year 2024, it is the year of God. It is the year that the church of God, we are going to worship God in the Spirit and in the truth. So the Lord showed me many things. He showed me how governments will fight against other governments. You know, I told you that there shall be a demolishing of passports. So it will lose that a government will start fighting against another government. You will hear presidents speaking evil against other countries' presidents. That year 2024, when you hear this all happening, be alert in the spirit because this is the year of the Lord. God is want to establish his church. So 2024, the church of God will be established. This is a prayer crossover tonight. I tell you tonight it's going to be fight. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be packed in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord is going to move in our midst like never before. The Lord is going to touch you. The Lord is going to heal the sick. The Lord is going to deliver us. And I tell you as we start the year 2024 with God, the year of God, we are going to start with power. We are going to start with clarity. And we are going to move oh, with power. Hallelujah. It's my prayer. May the Spirit of the Lord guide us. May the Spirit of the Lord move with us. May the power of the Lord show us the way. As the Lord answered to the disciples and told them, Upon Peter, upon this rock, I shall build my church, and the gates of hell shall never prevail. May God give you the liberation of who he is. Seek the Lord. Seek the face of the Lord while he is a fire. Bad times, hard times are coming. But for those who seek the Lord, they shall glow stronger, stronger, stronger day by night. So the Lord lastly told me, let my people know that I am their God. Let the nation know that I am their God. Look, it took me to the series of what was happening in the year 2020. When COVID-19 broke out, he told me, See how he took care of my people. God will take care of you. God will take care of the church. God will take care of every person. So trust in the Lord. Trust in the King of Kings. And I want to tell you as we worship God tonight, I know God is going to do something great in our service tonight. The Lord is going to touch us. The Lord is going to heal us. May God bless you. May God do good. I love you. I want to pray for you. Whoever was listening to this word, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. May God give you liberation to understand the word. May God give you the Holy Spirit. May it come and dwell upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, welcome the Holy Spirit in your life. Welcome the Holy Spirit in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want to destroy every works of the the enemy. Let the devil, you have no room upon the people of the Lord. I pray that the people of the Lord shall receive revelation from a path to understand the times and seasons that we are in. As we are entering the year 2024, as the gates of hell shall be opened in the year 2024, and the Bible said very clear that my church shall be established. The gates of hell shall never prevail. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the gates of hell shall be opened in the year 2024. 
the church of God shall grow stronger, stronger, stronger day by day because the gates of hell shall never prevail against the church, against the liberation we have received from Christ, against the spirit of the Lord in us. We will grow stronger and stronger. We pray for power. May we receive power to Nara. May we receive anointing to Nara. May God touch you. May God fill you. May God now come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive revelation from above. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May God bless you. May God do good. May we see each other at the close of our night. And I know the Lord is going to do great things. We are ready. We are taking off now. In the next few minutes, we are on our way to the close of our night. Come, we experience God moving in our midst like never before. God bless you. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I love you all. Rebecca Doro Prose.